Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and actually the first video that I'm recording after Christmas so yeah I hope you've all had the best festive period and you've had lots of food and family and just had a grand old time. Um, normally I would sit down and do a yearly favourites which I am planning to do but I like to not skip out on December because actually when I look at all of this stuff I realise that there has been quite a lot that I've been loving that I do want to share so I have a mixture here of beauty, home bits and a couple of fashion pieces as well that I'm going to be sharing. Everything that I talk about I'm going to try and link in the description box down below so you can go and check it out for links and everything like that and also all of my socials will be down in the description box down below like Instagram. I have a new blog launching very soon which I'm very very excited for so yeah, just check out the description box for everything that you should need. But I'm going to start with the beauty stuff, move on to fashion, and then we will end with home. And I also have a snack in there as well. And I'm just going to get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I actually got for Christmas, which is probably a bit premature to be adding it. But I've literally worn it every single day since. And I love it. I know that I love it. And this is the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette. This is beautiful. It is such a gorgeous palette both in colour, texture, formula and pigmentation as well. Um, this is actually the first product that I've ever tried from Fenty Beauty which for anyone who doesn't realise it's actually Rihanna's makeup brand I think um, and I really like it. Very very jewel toned, um, quite warm, quite spicy, ideal for my olive skin tone even though right now I am looking the palest I've ever looked in a long long time. Um, but particularly I've been using these glittery shades here which I will show you up close. I'm wearing this one today, this gorgeous oyster golden copper antique shimmery shade which I really like and actually they're really pigmented, they do not crease and they last for a full day which I've been really appreciating especially because I've been out and about a lot recently, holiday parties and things like that so yeah. That is the first thing. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to a primer. And I've actually been using this for a number of years now, but I always seem to come back to it in the colder months. And it's been doing wonders for my skin. My skin has been a lot better in recent weeks. It's been much calmer, much more relaxed, less breakouts, which is absolutely incredible. And I've been using my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant um, Soft Focus Beauty Flash. I basically use this as an multi-purpose products. I use it as a primer, I use it as a highlighter, I use it as a moisturiser when I just want a hit of something with a bit of shimmer on days where I don't really want to wear makeup and I just really really like it. The texture is super super fine, so it melts into the skin gorgeously, provides an excellent base of foundation, concealer, and just makes things last a little bit longer but then you have a lot of radiance that shines through and I just really love it. It's one of those products that I always seem to go back to and fall in love with every single time so yeah, I really like this. I have done an in-depth review on it and also how I use it and everything like that. So I'll link that above in case you haven't checked that out because back in the day, I used to do a lot of beauty content and even though right now it's changed more to lifestyle, food, vlogs, things like that, I do love my beauty products and that's why I like to do favourites at the end of the month to sharing my capsules. So yeah, this is one that has always been here. I love it and particularly right now in the colder months, I've been really enjoying it. Speaking of my complexion, I have just been so lucky recently because even though Christmas can get quite stressful, my skin has been playing ball for the last few weeks which has been amazing considering throughout the months of October and November it just was not happy. So I've been using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation just because I had a lot of scarring left over from October and November that I wanted to cover but also it just it makes me feel more confident, it makes me feel more happy in my complexion because this is amazing in regards to coverage and it's not as heavy as Double Wear. So even though original Double Wear is quite thick, even though the coverage is amazing, it's too thick for me whereas this one is much lighter, um, it's a fresh water makeup so it's very hydrating for the skin, very nourishing and I've just been getting on with it really well and Again, it's SPF 30, which is super important, even in the colder days, you want to make sure that you're wearing SPF, and I just really like it, and for anyone who is wondering, I wear this in the shade Cashew, which is perfect for days like today, or times like today, where I'm much lighter than I normally am, um, this has been fantastic in regards to its shade, so I do adore that. Another product that I've been using from the Body Shop is the Warm Vanilla Hand Cream, so because my hands have been super cold owing to the weather, I like to give myself a little bit um, of a pamper in regards to my hands. I like to use hand creams. But what I struggle with sometimes is the fact that you put hand cream on and you go to drive somewhere and you're slipping and sliding all over your steering wheel. With these by the body shop, it doesn't happen. You get that hydration and it seeps in really quickly. But the hydration is left behind. Like It doesn't just diminish really quickly like some of them do. 
with some hand creams you can put them on and within like 10 minutes you need to reapply and that's kind of the way that they work because they want you to use more product therefore you buy more but actually with these they do hydrate but they seep in really quickly but they hydrate for a longer period of time and the scent on this one in particular the warm vanilla is so nice and warm and comforting and relaxing very Christmassy very sweet quite ambery and I just I really like it so if you are looking for a decent hand cream that you want to try out in the new year I would definitely recommend this scent I don't know if it is limited edition um, but if it is a Christmas um, scent then I would imagine it might be in the sale now so I'll try and link that down below so you can go and check it out same applies to the body because it's been colder I've been staying in more not going to as many evening events and things like that so it's been really nice to have time for baths and relaxing and pampering and I've been using my Ambre Vanille by Laura Mercier. I know it's something I've spoken about before and actually I think this is featured in a few yearly favourites as well but I always tend to bust it out Christmas time because I just adore the scent. This one is quite ambery, quite vanilla-y as the name would suggest. I think I've gone through 101 of these. It's so whippy, it's so super creamy and thick. It's not a moisturiser that I would really apply during the day just because it's quite thick, it's quite bountiful, it's very, very hydrating, uh, but it doesn't seep in quite as quickly. So I would definitely say this is more of a nighttime one for me, but the scent is captivating, it's bewitching, it's sexy, it's delicious. So if you're looking to treat yourself to something very luxurious, but also very, very delicious, then I would definitely recommend the Laura Mercier Ambre Vanille Body and Bath and Body Cream. It's just delicious, it's absolutely wonderful. And then the last beauty product I have to share is my nail polish, which I've been wearing for the last couple of weeks um, since I picked it up in my most recent vlog. I'll link that above in case you haven't seen it. And I love the colour. It's beautiful. It's by Essie. It's called Fifth Avenue and it's this gorgeous apple red. The only thing is, for some reason, this chips more readily than any other Essie nail polish that I've had, which is quite strange actually because the formulas are all meant to be very much the same um, and I haven't actually found them to chip quite as much as this shade has but I do love the colour and I do get a lot of compliments when I wear it so even though I've had to top this up more readily than I would have with Fiji and other shades I do love the colour and I think it's very very festive ideal for party season ideal for the new year and I do love it I just wish that this formula would cling a little bit more and it's very confusing because Essie nail polishes are normally amazing so I'm quite shocked about that but I do love the colour and, oh, I have one more beauty product actually. Actually, I have a couple. How can I forget these two? My Neom um, Massage Oil. As I said, we've been having more nights in, more relaxing, but more couple time. And Andrew and I have been using this perfect night sleep body oil and giving each other massages, which has been gorgeous. Not only because it's nice to relax on a cold evening, but actually what this does for my muscles and my sleep is incredible. It's enriched with um, jojoba oil, 19 relaxing essential oils and it's packed full of safflower oil as well. So it's really hydrating for the body and also the mind, very relaxing and I always tend to want to fall asleep when we've just used this. It's incredible. It's very relaxing, quite spiritual and herbal. It just makes you really mindful and peaceful and I really like it and we've used it a ton and you only need the tiniest bit so even though it's quite expensive I anticipate it lasting a very very long time and yeah I love that I've been really in love with neon products I know I keep mentioning the wellness pod it's one of my favorite things in my whole life I just adore it so if you haven't got a well-being pod and you're into that kind of thing I'll link it below because it has changed my life I love it but I've talked about that loads and then finally, the last product I wanted to mention is my Magic Organic Apothecary Dreamy Bath Soak. I've used this before, I really like it. They sent me this at the beginning of December, I think. And it's basically a bag of bath salts enriched with lavender and other spices and herbs and sea salt and pine and cardamom. Basically, it's very, very relaxing. And again, when you use this, have a relaxing bath and then have a massage with this you're ready for sleep like honestly it's so so nice so if you do suffer um getting to sleep and having a restful sleep these two could be a really good shout for you so that is all of the beauty stuff i wanted to talk about i'm going to move on to fashion so how could i not mention this hoodie you guys will see me wearing this an absolute ton it's this big fluffy number it's ribbed it's cozy it's comfortable it's from and other stories 
it is quite pricey i'm not gonna lie that brand is as a whole but i have just been in love with their clothing recently cannot get enough of it and this hoodie is something that i wear so much and actually even though i think about it right now cost per wear this is already doing very very well for me because i literally wear it most days on top of whatever i'm wearing if i'm cold i just shove it on top and it's super snuggly it's super soft um it was about 75 pounds again not the cheapest in the world i will link it down below but it's definitely beautiful quality very very warm and snuggly and i adore it the next product i wanted to talk about is the skirt that i got from bowden and i love this so much and every single time i wear this i get asked about it it's one of those pieces that people either love or hate and it's called roy and it's this beautiful apple green skirt i absolutely love apple green um and i love this skirt for many many different reasons the first one is i love bowden i'm a huge fan of that brand i love everything about it the aesthetics everything the kids wear a lot of my children um children's wear that i buy is from bowden i just think it's really unique and really really special but this is also quite special because i wore this in a magazine shoot that i had recently in the ww mag which if it's gone live which i think it has you can go and pick that up in supermarkets now and um, it's the january to february version so the big new year's version i have a four page spread which is incredible i have not picked up a copy yet i'm going to pick one up today and if i manage to i'll insert some pictures and the article itself but i'm so excited about it and i actually wore this um in the shoot which is amazing um so yeah i love this it's true to size i have it in the size eight could have done with it in the six if i'm completely honest because it is a little bit loose because right here my hip my waist is my smallest area and it comes quite high on the waist but i love it it's absolutely gorgeous and it's one of my favorite pieces so i will try and link that down below that is all the fashion i'm going to move on to the hope and then i will end on a snack so my camera i've been using my fuji instax mini 9 so much over the christmas period i've been taking so many little snaps of the kids opening their presents christmas eve boxes we had a christmas eve party so i got all the cousins together and my idea is to do a picture of them every year in front of the tree and just have them on a little lanyard and i think it's going to be gorgeous um, and yeah this is basically a polaroid camera so the photograph comes out straight away and i think there's something quite charming about having a physical photograph these days because everything is so digital and even though we mean well and we mean to go and capture things and print things off nine times out of ten we don't and we just have it on our phone so it's really lovely to have a physical item of the photograph so these are quite inexpensive now i will link this one down below i love it um it's really good the next pieces i have are from emma bridgewater i got these in the sale just before christmas because for some reason her sale launched pre-christmas and it's her enamel baking trays i got this one here which is i think this is from the marmalade range i can't remember but this script writing or this writing with the cream background i think it's from something a marmalade collection anyway these are enamel roasting tins and they're absolutely gorgeous you may have seen them in my roast lamb shanks what i eat in a day if you haven't i'll link that above but yeah i had this one which was reduced about 20% I'll link it down below still quite pricey but they are enamel and I also have the smaller version which is ideal for anything really crumbles um, chips veggies I just do loads in here so I absolutely love them I did get them separately but of course they do go together very very well and they match my toaster and my um, kettle which is also from this range I'll put a little um, like overlay showing you my toaster and my um, kettle because they do match those perfectly but I do love those and then the final thing I'm going to end on is a snack how could I not include a snack and right now my stocking is full to the brim of chocolate and my favorite thing that I've been munching on recently are these new Lindor truffles now these are a limited edition so they're the milk and white chocolate and if you guys know anything about me you will know that I love white chocolate but I love it even more so when it's infused with milk chocolate and these little truffles are basically white chocolate on the inside covered with a milk chocolate shell and they are delicious. I'm not going to have one now because I'm just about to go and have my lunch. So I'll have one with my afternoon coffee. But I've been loving them. If you can pick some up, um, definitely do so. I got these for £3.50 from Tesco, which is incredible. All Sainsbury's. They've been reduced recently, the big boxes, which is great. So if you do want to try them as additions, I would definitely go and check them out now. And these are just delicious. So yeah, that is everything that I've been loving throughout the month of December. Do stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a very, very long, all-encompassing yearly favorites of 2019 that will most likely go live around new year's day or just after or just before so do stay tuned for that it's coming as well as my food blog it's nearly ready guys i am so excited for you to see it i'm so 
nervous but very very happy at the same time it's coming together so nicely I've been doing it all myself which is why it's took a little bit of time but I'm so excited to share the recipes with you in the new year and that's pretty much everything I have to update you on I will link this dress in the description box down below in case you're interested it's basically a denim corset dress I got it from ASOS I love it it's so nice and yeah I'll link everything that I've mentioned as well as what I'm wearing in the description box down below. But thank you so much for hanging. I'll let you get back to your food, your family and your friends now. But thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.